Welcome back, time now, 543. Today gonna be hot, but not quite as oppressively hot and humid as it was yesterday. It's 82, the heat index is still at 90 with the south wind at 14 miles per hour. Uh, but that dew point yesterday was near 80. Today is in the mid to upper 70s. I know it seems small, but that's gonna make a difference in how uh, hot it feels outside later on today uh, with heat index values forecast to get up to around 110 in Corpus Christi. Lots of mid to low 80s on the board this morning. Heat indices in the mid to low 90s for the most part. Uh, so not as high as we've had the last few mornings. Feels funny to be talking about these before the sun is coming up, but that little reduction in humidity uh, will keep the heat index values from reaching, uh, you know, the 116 mark that we did yesterday. In fact, heat advisories have been removed from the coastal bend for the day. We have some showers and storms up in northeastern Texas that work through the DFW area overnight. Uh, these are being produced by an upper level disturbance that's over the panhandle this morning. You see it right in there. Uh, east and that'll be the catalyst for rain chances here tomorrow. They'll be hit and miss isolated showers uh, in the forecast for Thursday. Check out what happens into the weekend. Watch from the Gulf of Mexico. I've got another piece of energy circled. This one arrives on Saturday and that will be the reason we carry the chance for scattered showers and storms in the forecast on Saturday. And I think Saturday's rain chance does look a little bit better uh, than the chance that we're going to have here on Thursday, but still some isolated showers showers and storms going to be possible tomorrow and then Saturday I think we see an uptick in that chance for rain with the arrival of that piece of energy coming in from the Gulf of Mexico and you see how that shower activity looks a little bit more uh, widespread at least on the simulated radar the tropics are active we've got four systems out there now two tropical waves in the Atlantic and coming off Africa. Those are something to watch but not worry about we've also got two tropical storms Omar not going to be a threat for the U.S. In fact, it's probably going to be downgraded by uh, Thursday to a tropical depression, then a remnant low after that. So that's not a threat. Uh, and neither is Nana, which is forecast to reach hurricane strength just before landfall in Central America on Thursday uh, and then just weaken as it tracks across Central America. So that one's not a threat either. The thing I'm watching is the possibility of a cold front next week. Model guidance, though, is a little little bit split on the outlook. The European on the left side of the screen puts a cutoff low in the western half of the country. That would keep us hot in South Texas and cold front free. The GFS develops a large deep trough across the central part of the country. That would send a cold front into South Texas, so there is still some uncertainty. Uh, the GFS this year better than the euro so take that for what it's worth the six to ten day temperature outlook does put a big blob of cooler than normal temperatures for the central part of the country but that just means with respect to normal so our average high for september 9th about the time that front could be coming through is 91 it may be that we get into the middle and upper 80s. So it's not going to be cold, I don't think, but uh, could be a step in the right direction. We'll have to continue to refine that forecast. Today, it's going to be a mix of sun and clouds, highs in the mid to upper 90s. Tomorrow, you'll see that chance for some showers or storms in the forecast with the energy moving in from the northwest. Today, 95 with the heat will be hot, humid, and breezy. Southeast winds 13 to 23 miles per hour. Tonight, nearly full moon, 82, partly cloudy, warm, and humid. You'll see the rain chances here Thursday, a little drier Friday, and I think a better chance for rain Saturday with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, Monday, still could have a rogue shower or storm, but overall partly cloudy, hot, and humid with highs near seasonal normal Sunday and Labor Day.